addressing our hormones. And a few years ago, if somebody had mentioned to me something about hormones, I would have thought about a teenager or maybe a woman who was pregnant with a baby. And over the last couple of years, I've certainly learned a lot as a yoga instructor and the topic is really close to my heart. So I'm going to share a little bit with you about what I know as well as showing you how to do two different asana that can help to rebalance your hormones and massage your thyroid. So that's what we're going to work on today is our thyroid. Let me start by giving you a little bit of knowledge. So your thyroid is located in your throat. It's the shape of a heart and it's located behind your Adam's apple. Now this gland is responsible for your metabolism. It is also responsible for the function of your heart and your muscles as well as your digestive tract. For me, it's really important because I have celiac disease and this is a condition that's related to your digestive tract and your immune system. I also have hypothyroidism, which means I've got a slow thyroid. Now, your thyroid is also responsible for the growth of your bones and also the growth of your brain. And so obviously all really important things. So this is sort of a powerhouse gland. We should all be looking after it. So whether or not you have balanced hormones or not, stick around and I'm gonna show you how to do two postures. So before we get started, if you're wondering whether or not your hormones are in fact in balance, some of the things that you might be looking for is um, a very quick gain in weight or a very quick gain in weight loss. Um, other than that, you can also suffer from very low energy also have some problems with concentration. And then in a very extreme case, you can also suffer from hair loss and problems with your memory. And all of these things I've had personal experience with myself. So like I said, quite close to my heart, um, it's great to learn how to do some of these postures. So let's get started. The first one that we're gonna do is rabbit. So sit back on your heels, starting in hero pose. Just be nice and long and comfortable. You're gonna grab your heels. Your thumb is on the outside and your hands are on the inside of your arch. So if you haven't done this before, please watch me and then go ahead and do it yourself afterwards. You're gonna start by taking your chin and tuck it towards your chest and you're rolling yourself down into a ball, so small. So take your time, hang on to your heels. And when your head starts getting down towards your knees, maybe the crown of your head is gonna to start to touch the floor. Now there's some weight that's gonna be in your head, but the bulk of it is in your shins. Once your head hits the floor, pull on your heels, draw your heels together. You're gonna to feel a nice stretch along your upper back, upper shoulders. Bring your hips up towards the sky as much as you can while pulling on your heels. And once you've reached your maximum, hips up, pull in your stomach as much as you can. You're gonna feel a choking sensation in your throat and breathe here. This choking sensation is in fact the massage that's happening to your thyroid. Might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but try to breathe again. And exhale to release. As you come out of rabbit pose, you come out as slowly as you did going in and roll your head up and your chin is the very last thing to be raised, being nice and careful. Ending with a vertical spine, you can place your hands on your thighs for a moment and just wait for all of the blood to rush back down so you don't get dizzy. Hands on the floor, swing your legs around in front of you. Seated in a staff position, your body is shaped like an L. And having your legs nice and long, roll onto your back with your forearms on the floor shoulders over top of your elbows and palms facing towards the ground point your toe legs long and engaged and puff up your chest towards the ceiling you're hollowing out your back opening up your heart and gently look up towards the sky so this might be enough you're looking for a lengthening across your throat i'll continue on to show you the full expression of the posture just do what feels right for you today you can bring your elbows in a little closer together and you're gonna drop your head back towards the floor. Be very careful, very cautious. The top of your head comes to touch the floor. Now you can stay with your elbows on the ground. This is perfectly fine. Feeling a much greater extension and lengthening along the front of your throat. You can try to raise your hands up off of the floor. Now remember that there's pressure in your head, but the bulk of it is in your seat. 
and coming here nice and strong. You feel a bit more engagement in your abdominal muscles. And then lastly, if you want, you can raise your heels up off of the floor. So this would be a level three version. Now your legs are strong here, strengthening your lower back and your core, but not necessary to lift the legs or the arms when we're just talking about the thyroid specifically. So breathing into your fish pose. Exhale to release. I'm really trying to drag your air over that thyroid plant. And rolling all the way out onto a flat back into your Shavasana. Now just have a nice straight spine for a moment. Allow your shoulders to relax, hands facing up towards the ceiling and toes just flopping out towards the side and continue to breathe. Placing your hands on the floor and use your elbows as leverage. You can bring yourself all the way up to sitting. As I mentioned earlier, if you are struggling to balance your hormones, one of the symptoms that you may be feeling is that you have a low mood. And one of the wonderful things about yoga is that so many postures not only help with our thyroid, but many of them also help with alleviating stress and anxiety and improving our mood. So something great to keep in mind, there's a good chance that the benefits of the postures I'm showing you to help with your thyroid actually help with other things as well. And so there's plenty of other postures for me to show you when it comes to balancing your hormones. So I hope to see you again, and I hope that you got something out of this. And have a great day.